Mpenzi mtazamaji kama ndio kwanza nafungua channel yako ya TF TV tafadhali subscribe ili uwe mwanzo kupata video zetu mbali mbali za ndani na nje ya nchi. Share video hii bila kusahau kudondosha comment yako kwani ni muhimu sana. There is great need to strengthen our health systems at all levels but with more focus on primary health care so as to effectively manage public health threats. I am aware that the region has already started investing in cross-border disease intelligence and surveillance systems, joint outbreak investigations and response mechanisms. I have also been made to understand that investments made in strengthening our region's capacity to diagnose many diseases of public health concern include TB, acute respiratory tract infections and diarrhea. These investments have already proved to be profitable as evidenced by swift response to detection and containment of such disease outbreaks. However, there is still need to further strengthen emergency health preparedness, response, resilience, and recovery in order to mitigate the impact of public health emergencies and disasters in our region. And first, I think it's the need for robust health research that can lead to improved disease diagnosis, more effective treatment options, and overall strengthening of healthcare systems. Due to massive epidemiological transition that is taking place globally, Research is an indispensable component of improving health outcomes. And in the next 50 years, I urge EXA health community member states to invest significantly in biomedical, clinical, social, cultural, environmental, and pollution health research. Second, I encourage governments in the EXA region to translate into action their commitments to scale up budgets for health, particularly essential medical products and technologies, as well as health information systems for attainment of the highest standards of physical, mental, and social well-being of our people. I wish to reassure you that the government of the United Republic of Tanzania will remain steadfast in fulfilling its obligations towards the EXA health community. And I also urge all our development partners to continue supporting the EXA health community priority agenda. Uh, but also for the EXA health community, please forge more uh, partners in support of our region. Thirdly, I urge the EXA health community to scale up efforts to address the stubborn health challenges that face our region. And some of them have already been mentioned, including poor nutrition, gender-based violence, and sexual abuse. We are grateful to our respective government for the unwavering support and prioritization of the health sector despite the competing national priorities. Over the years, as ministers of health, we have been passing numbers of resolutions that were meant to guide implementation of health policies and interventions with the intention to improve health outcomes and well-being for the population in our region. I'm pleased to mention that we managed to implement most of the resolutions which contributed to the reduction of morbidity and mortality in our region. However, a lot remains to be done. I'm optimistic that with your leadership and guidance and the support from our collaborating partners, we shall manage to redouble our efforts towards achieving health for all health for all tv tv inakupatia video mbali mbali kutoka ndani na nje ya nchi tafadhali endelea kutufuatilia kupitia channel yetu ya tv tv youtube facebook twitter na instagram bila kusahau kudondosha comment yako kwani ni muhimu sana tv tv tupo kijamii zaidi